Hey everyone, today I'm going to change your life. So, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all wonderful platforms. But with social media, the problem comes, particularly with younger generations and older generations, is that we think we need a certain product in order to get that flawless look. Today we're going to be talking about the base, so foundation. There is this assumption that you need one to two pumps of foundation to cover your skin, sometimes more if you're after that kind of filtered Instagram look. We see it everywhere. In fact, the majority of our feed is filled with these flawless faces. The problem with these flawless faces is that no one is getting fooled into believing you have flawless skin. You just look like you have flawless foundation on. The goal for a makeup artist is for you to look like you have flawless skin. And we've come so far from that now that we no longer want our skin to look like skin. We want it to look like flawless foundation. And I want to stop that and I want to change that. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video. So firstly, I'm just gonna apply a small amount of serum to my face so that there's some slip. Now I've got a couple of breakouts at the moment going on. So this is the perfect opportunity to test this technique. Now, the first caveat when it comes to foundation is first, do no harm. What you wanna do is apply the bare minimum product to the skin so that it evens out your skin tone. That is it, that is the goal of foundation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a foundation. This is NARS, shake it up. This doesn't come with a pump. I'm gonna take the lid off and look inside it there. That's what I'm gonna use on my face. Even with the sexy breakout, I'm just gonna take my finger in and I'm gonna dot three dots on my forehead I'm gonna dot two dots on my cheek, one at the jaw, and the rest on the nose. Now I can take my fingers, a sponge, or a brush. I can use a brush. And I'm gonna start this process. Now this video is for those of you who have good skin. You don't have to have perfect skin or flawless skin, but it is for those of you who don't have active breakouts or active acne and you just buff this in. We have forgotten as a generation on social media what skin looks like. We've got no concept anymore of what true skin looks like and how beautiful it can be if we do the bare minimum. When you see people with a lot of makeup on and you'll go, oh, that's a, that's a lot of makeup. Most of the time what people are actually referring to is that's a lot of foundation. And with this kind of technique, you can get flawless skin or near flawless skin without the heavy look. So you could do a really strong smoky eye or a really strong lip, but it wouldn't look like heavy foundation or heavy makeup because you've got this base perfect. And even though it looks like there's no product left on the skin or left on the brush, continue to blend out. There's always something there always and look how much we use now just imagine just imagine this full bottle of foundation would probably last you a year over a year well over a year just using this kind of technique and the really good thing about this is that two things are going to happen here firstly i've got no texture on my skin texture is what makes us look older than we are and can emphasize wrinkles fine lines all that kind of stuff. None of that is happening here because I haven't overloaded the skin. Next, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of color onto my skin. And I'm just gonna blend this in. Again, barely any product, no texture. It's adding life to the skin, thankfully. And if there is like, like here, this little pimple, right? I could just cover that with a tiny bit of concealer. No big deal. Next, I'm just gonna powder this. So because I used barely anything, I'm gonna go in with a lot of powder here, and it's gonna go everywhere. And I'm gonna set everything, every single thing. The reason I'm doing this is because, firstly, I really like a velvety finish to the skin. Second, there's no texture on my skin. So I can add all this powder, 
without it being bothersome. And I'm more so lazy. I don't want to have to touch anything up. So it's going to help with that. And I'm really working it everywhere. In the creases, underneath the eyes, the hairline. I'm just going over that skin, patting and pressing it into the skin. If you create a barrier so that my skin looks great all day long. And now to finish this off, all I need to do is just a little quick spritz of a setting spray just to take away that ultra matte residue. That's it, that's skin, yeah. You can still see that little breakout, but it's not bright red anymore. And I could have covered that with a concealer. In fact, let me do that. What more do I need to achieve with this look, with this base? My skin looks really good, that's it. No one is gonna think I've got anything on my face. So people are gonna compliment me on how amazing my skin is not how beautiful my foundation is. They're going to think I have flawless skin. Any look can be achieved with this now. The smokiest of eyes, the strongest of lips, but you'll never look heavy or made up. You're always going to look like you have beautiful, perfect skin. The easiest way to start this technique is if you use one pump, use half a pump. If you use two, use one. Work your way down until you're using the bare minimum product. Your skin will thank you, you will look younger, you will look healthier, you will look brighter, and you'll certainly save money. I've always been obsessed with skin. My motto, and people think it's very natural makeup, it isn't, but my motto is very, very natural skin. And if you have decent skin, a couple of breakouts, a little bit of redness, this is for you. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.